Welcome to a unexpected match in my Fiji. I'm re-grinding the Royal Navy light cruiser line. I've done fairly well in the Emerald Hands to action stations. and the Leander before the Fiji. Much better the second time around than the first time around, even though the Leander I played quite a bit later anyways. If you have not done the Royal Navy line, I'd recommend it just to get even just to the Fiji because it is such a strong ship for the tier. It's not one to go out and try and delete ships from full health to no health. It's the opportunity ship. You got to keep looking around, finding targets that you want to delete, ones that have overextended themselves and now trying to retreat. The semi or short fuse armor piercing shells tended to have a lot of bite to them. And even battleships, if you aim for their superstructure, you can do a lot of damage. And start taking their health down to zero. A lot of people probably underestimate what the Fiji can do because you're used to balancing AP shells and with its short fuse you can do you can definitely do a lot more impact to ships that are coming nose on. I decided to assist at B because again I am the opportunity ship. B is always a hot zone and I figured that would be my best bet. And luckily I had not one but both enemy destroyers over here. Or I guess there's four in total, but two of two of the four over here. And one of the enemy red team is a Haida, another ship that is actually really enjoyable, or was to me. I have over 500 games in it, so I'm going to say, uh, yeah. I don't play it like the recommendation is, though. I play it rather aggressively. Now, I already knew that the destroyers were out of the smoke screen, that's why I was detected. But I pushed in anyways because they don't really have any any close range support. The conning is there. And the Fuzu is has the potential to shoot me. The biggest danger was probably the Colorado. But I'm gonna use this island to help help spare my life. The Fubuki gets gets away, he gets very lucky. Now the Podvoski He didn't go away. He's still Torpedoes there. dead ahead. I was originally gonna turn in and pass on the left side of that island, but the torpedoes dictated otherwise. He has now basically made a mistake I even get guilty of doing is you stay too long. It's one of those things you're like, oh, I'll get the torps off, I'll get lucky, or whatever, but sometimes you wait just that little bit too long. Smoke generator started. And, well, he's actually going to get away too. <laughs> I uh, was getting just a little bit too many people locked on to me, so I decided that hiding was my best course set. of action. A little side note, I know you're seeing all the mods on the screen, but when I played it, I had none. So I installed these after this match. The mods help with some information. Don't make it so that I play that much better. 
just saves me from having to look over at the mini map is what it does. There's nothing here that tells me where to aim or how to aim. Nothing predictive. I do have some that tells me the speed, or the max speed a ship will go, that you can see there. But that's the extent of knowledge I can get. And the blue thing, that's just the RF. Instead of white, I have it blue colored. Honestly, at that point, I had zero clue what was actually picking me up. And of course, what I figured it out was the cannon over it that just capped. See, that is what was detecting me, and that is what just about made it so I had a very poor experience. Now, this destroyer, he basically is. saved my butt. So, otherwise, yeah, that would have been a lot more painful. Now, at this point, I'm already assuming there's a torps coming. And I'm just trying to send torps back his way to try and be a little bit of a deterrent in case he does come through. Overall, it's been a slow start game. We are actually down ships. Eventually that turns around. I have seen the enemy DD. That's why I zoomed in and zoomed out again. And that's gonna be the end of the Colorado. There's the camp. Torpedoes I now have smoke screen back. We are ahead on ships now. Smoke generator started. Since I have so many targets to choose from, I'm just gonna hang tight. Let them make the mistakes. Smoke screen set. Where I would have had to aim would have been had to aim right through the island. That's why I didn't bother shooting at the conning bar. The conning. Notice that there was dual eyes and arrows. You guys been enjoying the palm? That's everyone has perked up for coal. I think uh, I had a match where there was several. There was like six palms in the match. Now this LR swung around, and I was trying to figure out. At first, what it was. I was like, well, all the battleships were up north. I just saw the New Orleans. And I'm like, Roger, proceeding to assist you. That's only going to leave one ship left, and that's a Haida. And so, I, what I was trying to do is back out so I can just pop out of the smoke and then power up to go forward if I needed to. Little did I know he was going to be that close. I don't know what he was thinking. I really don't. Uh, he has hydro. It's got three kilometer range. I only fired the torps off to make him turn to slow down. I didn't really expect to hit him. And they did their job. No torps, no hydro. He wasn't prepared to engage the enemy. 
with a smoke screen like that, I would never, I would never have creeped up on it unless I had hydro. And I would have had to really think about what was in that smoke screen because whether it was me or the Leander, that was being risky. I just didn't understand that thought process. Either way, it was another kill for me. The eyes and eyes just will not give up on B. They keep coming back for round two, round three, <laughs> round four. And that will be the third kill, I believe. There we go. We've sunk an ally so now you. you can see where the LR is pointed at. RDF for those who are used to the other thing. And I'm like, Torpedoes it is to not starboard. the Norlinks. So the Podvusky was sitting over there. I'm like, there's no way I'm going around that corner for more than one reason. One, I knew the DD was there. And two, not one, but two battleships. I am not going around that corner. Now this conning is on such low health that I'm just going to launch torps off. I'm going to explain to you what I just did there. I fired one a little bit further ahead, but he would pick up on it first. Then he would slow down. The other two torps were behind on the assumption that he would slow down. That way they would hit him better. Smoke screen set. Silly me. He didn't even bother slowing down, he just was <laughs> full speed and, well, I didn't bother wasting the shells because I knew he was going to, he was going to pay a price for that one. So yeah, I'm up to four. This Fuso, he, uh, I mean, there's not much it can do. His team's pretty much gone. Considering we were down ships. We've only lost one more, and their their entire team is now crumbled. And there we go, Kraken unleashed. Yes, it does hit me in the battleship. And look, this conning copied what the other conning did. Going around a corner blind, when you know there's an enemy destroyer over there. You don't do it. You just don't. It's going to help our mints by charging around the corner, but it didn't matter. Nice work. I knew the New Orleans was capping, so I thought maybe he would head up towards B. Instead, he changes his mind. He heads off into the distance. Keep in mind that Leon over there. There's a reason why you do not chase ships. You just don't. Okay. Now, he had some of the worst luck in the world. He got overpans, misses. But you still don't go chase a cruiser that's running away from you. You're going to see why. I'm not even going to bother because it's getting to a point he's outside my range. I'm more worried about the remaining battleship and the cami that's up here. Just to mop that up. Cap another point. That way it's guaranteed we have no concerns about the win anymore. There's a can ER. Our Minsk is unfortunately going to pay a price. He's disappeared. I just kind of tried to guess where he might have been. I wasn't the only one guessing. 
Moons got Torps off, but unfortunately he didn't get lucky. Oh look, the New Orleans killed that Leon. Leon was at half health. The New Orleans was at half health. Keep that in mind. Battle ends in five minutes. This guy got so lucky. It was just unbelievable. If our Leander had been going full tilt, you just turn on your hydro and you don't worry about it anymore. I'm not even sure what he gets away with because uh, we all spot him. That's the last time we see him, that cami. It's not the last time they got on the receiving end. <laughs> yeah, there I just told the Le Leander like, turn on your hydro. You know, you're your, you are the eyes for your team right now. And just go push that cami. What's he going to do against all those ships? He can't do anything. He might get a might get one or two lands, and then that's it. In the end, he was running away anyways. I'm going down just to kill time. I was like, I'm not going to bother chasing the cami. I'll go after the New Orleans. So, if you remember, the New Orleans was at 21,000 health. So the Leon only took off 7k. And I kind of derped the shot, because what he's doing is he's slowing down. I don't... I'm not that worried about it. I don't even really care. I'm a little bit... My angling could have been better. I wasn't overly concerned just because the game is pretty much over. Yes, we're winding up the time more than anything else. So I gave him his fight. Solved, him, you know, I'm giving him his duel, and I know he's like, dang it, he's got a heal. <laughs> and this is where the semi, the short fuse. On the piercing comes in handy because it will get the damage instead of doing overpass. Yeah, he was bouncing a lot too, but he got super lucky. <laughs> he he just sneaks by these torps. <laughs> I was like, all right, fine, whatever. And yeah, the cami, they, they've never even seen them. Well, I mean, at this point I kind of got a little greedy. I shouldn't even bother with the torps, it was a waste of time. Playing again way too much, so you could get a good hit. A good last hit there. At this point, the game's going to be over. Because we're down to. 15 seconds. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this little cracking game. Hope you learned a few things. Otherwise, GG. Hope you see some more interesting videos from me in the future.